Hey, welcome to a new video. Every day, scientists and archaeologists find out new things, but sometimes they come across mysteries that really puzzle them. In today's video, we explore some amazing discoveries that left researchers surprised. Are you new to this channel? Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And before we start, also like the video. Number 19. Erelux Gate is a mysterious megalith located in Altai, China. Throughout history, various ancient civilizations have left behind enigmatic structures and megaliths, showcasing their existence. Erelux Gate is a significant example of such preserved relics. According to local legend, Erelux, an underworld ruler, is associated with this megalith. It is believed that Erelux, though diminutive in stature, ventures into the human world during the night to seek human souls. At dawn, he returns to his underworld realm through a stone gate, seemingly designed for this purpose. This has led to the interpretation that the megalith might serve as a portal between realms. While this legend persists, the exact purpose and origin of Erlich's Gate remain enigmatic and unexplained by science. Despite advancements in undertaken ancient civilizations and their structures, this specific megalith continues to defy clear scientific interpretation. The stone formation's intricate design and its alignment to local legends challenge conventional explanations. It is a natural rock arch that stands as a striking entrance to the region. The gate is characterized by its massive stone columns and intricate arch shape, resembling a grand entrance or doorway carved by nature itself. The rocks that compose Erelux Gate are rugged and textured, showcasing various earthy tones and patterns. Number 18. Ein Gazal Statues were uncovered at an archaeological site in Jordan, offering a glimpse into the Neolithic era, spanning from around the 8th to 6th millennium BC. The statues found in two caches are made of plaster-covered reeds, depicting human figures in various forms. While the purpose of these statues remain elusive, speculations arise that they held a ritual significance due to their intricate craftsmanship. Ein Gazal, named Spring of the Gazelle, was discovered near Amman in 1974. Archaeological exploration began in 1982, revealing the site's development over millennia. Initially occupied around 7250 BC, it started as stone-covered houses with red pigment paintings. Notably, the settlement experienced a population surge at the start of the 7th millennium BC, with architectural changes indicating communal living. The statues themselves, varying in style between two caches separated by 200 years, present an enigma. They are large, plaster-covered reed creations, some with two heads. The statue's ephemeral nature hints at a ritualistic purpose, supported by the ritual burial after use. However, despite scientific scrutiny, the exact reasons behind their creation and the symbolism they held remain a mystery. While scholars have gleaned insights in Suain Ghazal's timeline and inhabitants' way of life, decoding the statue's exact role defies a definitive scientific explanation. Some hypotheses suggest that these statues held a ritualistic or ceremonial significance within the Neolithic community. They might have been used in religious practices representing deities or ancestral spirits, or serving as symbols of fertility or protection. Number 17. Dabu's giraffes are a remarkable archaeological find located in the Tenere Desert of Niger. These ancient petroglyphs depict two intricately carved giraffes and are considered the largest known animal petroglyphs globally. Discovered in 1987 by Christian Dupuy and further studied by David Colson, these carvings are estimated to be between 6,000 and 8,000 years old, dating back to a time when the Sahara was less arid. These petroglyphs stand out not only for their age, but also for their impressive size and detail. The larger giraffe measures nearly 18 feet in height and is believed to be a male, while the smaller one is interpreted as female. What makes these depictions even more intriguing is the etched line connecting each giraffe's mouth to a human figure below, possibly suggesting a symbolic or practical relationship. The carvings show sophisticated techniques, including scraping, engraving, and lower leaf carving revealing intricate patterns and depth. However, the purpose behind these petroglyphs remains a mystery. Despite their significance, science has yet to definitively explain why these ancient people created these detailed and monumental carvings of giraffes. Speculation ranges from symbolic representation to ancient attempts at domestication. 
These petroglyphs are situated on the western side of the Air Mountains in north-central Niger, about 68 miles north of Agadez. In the middle of the Tenere Desert, the Debus giraffes contribute to the rich collection of over 800 petroglyphs in the area. Number 16. Tlaloc, an Aztec rain god, held significant importance in Aztec culture during the 14th to 16th centuries, represented with distinct features like a peculiar mask, large round eyes, and fangs. Tlaloc's image dates back to the Teotihuacan culture, similar to the Mayan rain god Chak. Tlaloc's attributes were remarkably consistent. The Aztecs held Tlaloc's cult in high regard, dedicating five months of their ritual year to him and to Tlaloc, fellow deities residing on mountaintops. Tlaloc's ceremonies involved rituals, sacrifices, and various practices to ensure favorable weather conditions. Sacrifices, including children, were made to him during specific months. Rain priests bathed ceremonially in lakes and used unique techniques like imitating waterfowl cries and employing magic fog rattles for rain. Tlaloc's influence extended beyond agriculture, as he was believed to control rain, droughts, lightning, and hurricanes. Both revered and feared, Tlaloc could bring blessings or disasters upon the land. Tlalocan, a paradise, was believed to offer eternal life for those affected by specific illnesses or natural causes like drowning or lightning strikes. Tlaloc had a companion, Chalchutlique, the goddess of freshwater lakes and streams. Their worship was significant, with Aztec syncretism placing Tlaloc alongside other major deities like Huitzilopochtli. While historical records provide insight into Tlaloc's worship, the deeper motivations behind these rituals and beliefs remain enigmatic due to the lack of first-hand accounts from that time. This intricate understanding of Tlaloc's role in Aztec culture and its associated rituals remains a subject of study and interpretation among scholars. Number 15. Longyu Caves, located in China's Zhejiang province, stand as a baffling ancient marvel. Discovered accidentally in 1992, these 24 hand-carved caves have left scientists across multiple disciplines puzzled. These underground chambers, considered the ninth wonder of the ancient world, pose numerous unanswered questions. Dating back over 2,000 years, the caves exhibit stunning engineering. Each grotto intricately carved into solid siltstone extend about 98 feet below the surface. Inside, stone rooms, bridges, gutters, and pools hint at an advanced level of craftsmanship. Despite extensive research from archaeologists, architects, engineers, and geologists, the methods behind the creation of Longyu Caves remain shrouded in mystery. No consensus exists on how these massive structures were built, who constructed them, or for what purpose. Their distinctive features, including evenly distributed pillars supporting the ceilings and intricate chisel marks on walls and columns, defy easy explanation. Numerous theories have emerged, ranging from ancient quarries to religious sites, yet definitive evidence is lacking. The scarcity of historical records and limited datable evidence complicates the investigation. Even with technological advancements such as modern equipment and analysis techniques, the enigma persists, highlighting the limitations of current scientific understanding. Intriguingly, only one of the caves has been open for tourism due to its intricate stone carvings. Number 14. Unicorn, a term often associated with mythical creatures, has taken on a new twist with a recent fossil discovery. A species named the Siberian Unicorn, scientifically known as Elasmotherium, was believed to have vanished around 350,000 years ago. However, a fossilized skull found in Kazakhstan has shaken up this assumption. Carbon dating, a method to determine the age of ancient materials, revealed that the fossil is just 29,000 years old, challenging the previous extinction timeline. This means that the Siberian Unicorn coexisted with humans for around 321,000 years longer than previously thought. Contrary to its legendary image, this unicorn was more akin to a modern rhino. It stood 5.9 feet tall, stretched over 13.1 feet in length. Its unique feature was a massive horn protruding from its forehead. Interestingly, the study of this creature has revealed that its extinction wasn't caused by modern human hunting or the peak of the last ice age. Instead, it succumbed to a climate shift that led to a reduction in grasslands that it relied upon. Despite the advances in our understanding of this species, mysteries remain. Researchers are puzzled about why the Siberian unicorn couldn't adapt to the changing environment while other species did. 
Number 13. Unique details of a remarkable sword have been uncovered in Yata's Stavanger. Although the sword blade itself is missing, the well-preserved grip displays intricate and distinct features. Adorned with gilded elements depicting animals in the late Iron Age style, as well as silver geometric shapes using the Niello technique. The hilt boasts animal head-shaped ends. Considered a rare type, the sword belongs to a select category of ornate and weighty Viking Age swords. Only a handful have been found in Norway, and many are believed to have been imports. Experts speculate that this sword might have been crafted in the early 800s within the Frankish Empire or England. A similar sword from the 9th century discovered on Scotland's Eig Island provides the closest parallel. The discovery site, known for its significant Viking Age finds, including the Gosel Queen Grave, is believed to have been a key hub for North Sea trade and contacts. Discovered by separate metal detectorists in two parts, the sword has been reported to the Cultural Heritage Service, ensuring swift preservation. As the grip has been fully reconstructed, the sword will further be studied by international researchers to uncover its origins. The Vikings, also known as Norsemen or Northmen, were seafaring people from Scandinavia, primarily present-day Denmark, Norway, and Sweden during the Viking Age. Did you know that they were skilled sailors, explorers, traders, and raiders who ventured across vast distances, reaching as far as North America, the Middle East, and Russia? Number 12. The 500 million year old fossilized brains found in the Burgess Shale of a marine predator called Stanley Caris are prompting a reevaluation of the evolution of insects and spiders. This well preserved fossils provide insights into the arthropods' brain's evolution, vision, and head structure. Stanley Caris, part of an extinct arthropod branch called Radiodonta, is distantly related to modern insects and spiders. The recent research published in the journal Current Biology, showcases the remarkable quality of preservation and the extensive number of specimens. The brain and nervous system remains are remarkably intact in 84 fossils, aged at 506 million years. The detailed observations include elements like visual processing centers for large eyes and nerve traces connected to appendages. The fossils reveal Stanley Karras' brain composed of two segments, the protocerebrum, a link to the eyes, and the deutocerebrum, associated with frontal claws. This discovery challenges previous assumptions about the evolution of arthropod brains. The intricate structures and advanced preservation are breakthrough in understanding the diversity and adaptation of ancient organisms. The presence of a large central eye in Stanley Karras further highlights the complexity of early arthropods' visual systems. Despite the knowledge these fossils offer, science still lacks a comprehensive understanding of all the factors involved in this ancient marine predator's existence. Number 11. A Roman Mithraeum in central London, discovered beneath the Bloomberg Building, is a significant archaeological find that offers insights into the ancient Roman cult of Mithras. Uncovered by chance after World War II's destruction, this underground temple is now open for public visits. Dating back 1800 years, the temple sheds light on the Roman presence in London during the 2nd century AD. The cult of Mithras, founded around 2000 years ago, gained popularity between the 1st and 4th centuries AD, particularly among the Roman army. It featured secret rites performed in subterranean temples. The central theme revolved around Mithras slaying a bull depicted in the Tarakhtani scene. The recent research provides a glimpse into the cult's rituals, architecture, and symbols. The Mithraeum remains a mystery in some aspects. Despite the valuable insights the temple provides about the cult's practices, rituals, and architecture, it does not offer a complete understanding of the cult's full complexity. Elements like the specific significance of symbols, precise rituals, and the exact nature of the cult's influence remain subjects of speculation due to the absence of comprehensive written records. Number 10. Ice-covered regions often spark curiosity and speculation. In a recent triangular mass discovered in satellite images over Antarctica's Ellsworth mountain range has stirred the imagination. Despite the isolated and icy nature of the continent, some people have wondered if this might be a hidden pyramid or a creation of an ancient civilization. However, the scientific explanation is far more down-to-earth. This enigmatic shape is merely a natural geological formation is known as a pyramidal peaked mountain. These structures are common in glaciated areas and the Ellsworth Mountains. Rising more than 248 miles in length naturally exhibit rocky peaks emerging through the ice. 
Dr. Mitch Darcy, a geologist at the German Research Center for Geosciences, clarified that these peaks, while pyramid-like, are not human constructions but rather nunatics, rock peaks protruding from glaciers or ice sheets. The Ellsworth Mountains, discovered in 1935, form the highest mountain range in Antarctica and are situated within the Chilean Antarctic territorial claim. Number 9. Mummified Crocodiles Found in an Undisturbed Tomb at Kubat al Hawa, an ancient necropolis on the Nile's western bank, have intrigued archaeologists. The discovery, made in 2019, is not unusual in Egypt, where preserved animals were often offerings, food for the afterlife, or linked to deities. The crocodiles, associated with the Nile god Sobek, were preserved differently than typical mummies, lacking resin or evisceration. These 10 crocodiles, varying in length from 6 to 11.5 feet, represent both Nile and West African species. Interestingly, they exhibit no injuries, but they may have lost their lives as a result of drowning, suffocation, or sun exposure. Unlike most mummies, these lack linen and resin, enabling researchers to study the remains without special technology. The tomb is at least 2,500 years old, and these crocodiles may have undergone natural mummification in sand pits before being moved to Kabat al Hawa. Some speculate that they could have been offerings to gods or requests for divine help. Number 8. Iron Pillar, located in Delhi, India, is a renowned historical structure standing at around 78.7 feet tall. What made it mysterious was its incredible resistance to corrosion, despite being exposed to the elements for over 1600 years. The composition of the metal and the environment in which it had been kept were long subjects of research, as scientists tried to understand how it had remained largely rust-free for so long. It was reportedly erected in memory of King Chandragupta II. Weighing approximately 7,000 pounds, the pillar has drawn the attention of metallurgists and archaeologists, showcasing the skills of ancient Indian blacksmiths. According to experts, the remarkable rust resistance of the iron pillar has been attributed to a protective layer of crystalline iron hydrogen phosphate, which shields it from Delhi's local climate. The pillar features a bulb-shaped base and a bell pattern capital, resting on iron bars. Because of its frame, the pillar needed to be fenced in 1997 to prevent visitor damage. Number 7. A mummy believed to be around 800 years old was unearthed by a team of experts on Peru's central coast. This discovery, announced by archaeologist Peter Van Dalen Luna, sheds light on the culture that thrived between the mountains and the coast of the country. The gender of the mummy remains unidentified. The mummy's distinct feature is its tightly bound state, with ropes and hands covering the face, which aligns with local funeral practices, according to Van Dalen Luna, associated with the State University of San Marcos. The individual is thought to have lived in the high Indian region of Peru. To establish a more precise timeline, radiocarbon dating will be employed. The mummy was uncovered within an underground structure located on the outskirts of Lima. While this mummy offers valuable insights into the past, science is still working to fully explain the specifics of its origin, the culture it represents, and the exact circumstances of its burial, leaving room for continued investigation and analysis. Number 6. A 2,000-year-old treasure hoard has been uncovered by archaeologists in the Crimea region, Ukraine. The treasures buried during a Roman siege include over 200 coins, primarily made of bronze, as well as various items of gold, silver, bronze jewelry, and glass vessels. These valuable items were found within an ancient fortress located in the Artesian settlement. The settlement was part of the Bosporus Kingdom during a time of political tension between two brothers. Mithridates VIII aimed for independence from Rome, while his younger brother Codus I favored Rome's support. With Rome's assistance, Codus I gained control, leading to the destruction of settlements aligned with Mithridates, including Artesian. While these artifacts offer valuable historical and cultural information, the exact motivations and individuals behind the hoarding remain speculative. Archaeologists speculate that the hidden treasures were stashed by wealthy individuals seeking refuge from the Roman siege. Number 5. Old burial practices often reveal intriguing mysteries, as demonstrated by the recent discovery of a 4,000-year-old tomb in Jerusalem, containing a jar filled with headless toads. The Israeli Antiquities Authority announced the finding, which sheds light on ancient funeral rituals. Archaeologists unearthed the sealed tomb during excavations in Jerusalem's Manhattan neighborhood, among more than 60 rock-cut tombs. 
Inside the tomb, they discovered a human skeleton, an intact ceramic bowls and jars. The pottery style suggests the tomb dates back to the early Middle Bronze Age. The jar, filled with nine decapitated toads, sparked curiosity among researchers. While the toad's exact role remains uncertain, they are believed to have held significance in funerary rituals. Toads symbolize regeneration in the context of ancient Egypt, which had connections to the Canaanites in the Levant. Additionally, the toads might have served a practical purpose, possibly as food offerings for the deceased's journey to the afterlife. Number 4. Incas left behind a puzzling megalithic site called Kenuani near Lake Titicaca in Peru. There is limited archaeological information available, and no major excavations have been undertaken. The construction is characterized by large and intricate ash steps and niches, likely sourced from the nearby Kampia Hill, the same quarry that provided stones for Pumapunku and Tiwanaku. The structure is sometimes referred to as the rest of the Inca, and is situated in Inca Camaña via Kenyuani. The carved stone seats are believed to have served as a resting place for Inca monarchs before entering the sacred city of Yunguyo. According to local beliefs, sitting on these stones can rejuvenate one's energy. The site also hosts ceremonies, particularly during the Amara New Year, as it holds sacred significance for the local community. Number 3. The Coldstream Stone, part of the South African Museum's collection in Cape Town, is a small and artistically significant polychrome stone. Unearthed with a human skeleton near the Lottering River in South Africa's Western Cape Province, this stone stands out for its remarkable age and exceptionally well-preserved imagery. The stone displays three figures with white faces and vividly elongated ochre bodies walking across the surface. Though not bearing depictions of animals or geometric designs, the Coldstream Stone has drawn scholarly attention due to the nasal hemorrhaging depicted on some of the figures. This detail has led some experts to relate the stone to religious and trans practices of the Khoisan people. The sand hunter-gatherers were the primary creators of rock art in South Africa, and the figures on this stone might represent sand medicine men engaged in a trance, potentially to connect with the supernatural realm. The painting shows three figures in distinct colors, red, black, and white. The central figure holds a bow and hunting arrows on the shoulder, along with a feather and palette in hand. Number 2. Ayandara, located in northern Syria, is a unique archaeological site known for its central temple surrounded by a complex of buildings. The most intriguing aspect of this temple is the presence of massive footprints etched into the solid rock, leading up the stairs to its entrance. These footprints, much larger than human size, have sparked speculation about their origin, with some interpreting them as the footsteps of a deity entering the temple. Thought to be a syro hittite temple dating back to the Iron Age, Aindara has been subject to multiple excavations since its discovery in 1955. The temple stands on an elevated mound and showcases remarkable craftsmanship constructed using basalt blocks atop limestone foundations. Intricate carvings adorn its exterior and interior, depicting cherubim, lions, mythical creatures, geometric patterns, and mountain gods. The prevailing belief suggests that it might have been devoted to the fertility goddess Ishtar, while other perspectives propose dedication to goddess Astarte or the weather god Baal Hadad. Number 1. Baghdad Battery An ancient artifact discovered by Wilhelm Koenig has sparked much debate regarding its purpose. Initially thought to be an early battery, the Baghdad battery consists of three components, a clay pot, a copper cylinder, and an iron rod. Wilhelm speculated that the copper and iron components, along with an electrolyte, could have produced electricity. However, modern scholars contest this theory due to several reasons. The limited voltage the Baghdad battery could generate around a volt raises doubts about its practical use as a power source. Critics question its viability for activities like gilding, as its power output would have been insufficient. Instead, some propose that the artifact could have served as a container for sacred scrolls, as similar vessels have been found in the vicinity. Despite ongoing discussions, the Baghdad battery's true purpose remains uncertain. Adding to the mystery, the artifact was looted from the National Museum during the Iraq invasion in 2003, and its current whereabouts are unknown. Which one of these discoveries has fascinated you the most? Let us know in the comments. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos that we made, click on one on the screen or take a look at the channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.